Hey up folks, I bet you're thinking uh, what's this video doing when he said he's having a break for summer? Well, what it's doing is I've been doing a bit of trading 212, so I thought I'd best do a video to just explain. Basically, a couple of days ago on YouTube, I got tagged in a comment saying, you know, you want these wagons, uh, double O Dave. So I thought I'd have a look and see what's what. And when I saw what wagons there were, I thought, well, I do want them. I can't really afford them. So let's see if we can do some kind of trade negotiations. So today's video, the plan is we're going to get over to that shed area ASAP and have a look at what we've got. We're going to collect the new wagons up and then we're going to drive them round all splendidly. So it looks beautiful and see what's what and see what we think of them. And then whilst doing that, I'll try and explain why uh, I traded in my brand new uh, Acura Scale EWS 66 against these wagons with a little bit of cash as well. 66 is gone, I'm afraid, the old uh, EWS, so there's no more colour changing option on this one. Uh, I'll be honest, folks, I might get rid of this one as well. Uh, I really like it, but it just doesn't really suit my layout, I don't think. it's uh, Everything I've got is a bit older than this, apart from the latest uh, nuclear stuff, but I just run them with biscuits in anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not... It's not doing it for me. Uh, I got fully giddy when they came out. I bought the EWS on my out sound, which I wouldn't normally do, but I thought I couldn't get a sound one. And then sound ones came out, and then I bought this one, which I do, I do love it, but it really does need a train full of container wagons, doesn't it, I think. Uh, and I don't even know if that really suits my layout. I don't know. I don't know at all at the minute with this one. I don't know what's going on with Acura uh, Scale, but why would they release these locos and then not have sound chips available for them? I mean, I've got this one uh, and I had the other one, which I couldn't use that EWS. Uh, I ain't got any 21 pin basic decoders and I weren't going to buy one, I wanted sound. So it were a bit of a waiting game. Uh, and it's like, how long do you have to wait? It, I can't get why they, they wouldn't have them in stock ready. It, to me, that's just crazy. And I know there's other people who've also got them uh, and they're waiting for that sound chips to come in uh, so they can't use theirs. And I just, I, I didn't think twice uh, about swapping it today. I definitely do want an EWS Loco, but I'm probably going to either get a 37 or... Uh, Cavalex 56 I think either of them two would fit in better with my setup and what I've got and the more and more I think about where I'm going to go with my stuff I'd probably go back in time rather than forward in time uh, and I've thought that for a while now so uh, yeah I think I'm going to have to start watching it when these new things come out not get so giddy Anyway, enough of all this negative uh, nonsense. Uh, what are these new wagons I've got? Uh, you're going to have to be patient, aren't you? Because we're not there yet. It's going around this corner and then we'll, we may or may not see. Uh, I've been looking at some of these for a while now. Some variety of these. Uh, and I were always put off by how many I needed versus how much it's going to cost. And I was starting to look at an Ormby version, which are currently on offer at Kerno for like... You can get three for £45. Uh, and I was looking at them, and then this offer came along, and then it was like one of them. Uh, I couldn't turn it down. He knew it, I know it, you know it. The only person that don't know it is my cat Percy. He weren't very really bothered either way. Anyway, look, they're there, look on left. Can you see them? Basically, it's uh, some HBA wagons, 32 and a half ton MGR coal hopper with canopy to be precise and I don't know if you know this but basically 11,161 of these iconic coal hoppers were built between 1964 and 1982 and I don't often get any details like that but basically 162 were built at Shildon uh, but the rest of them were built at Ashford if you were wondering I thought it might have been the other way around you know uh, I thought 162 might have been Ashford but no Ashford did most of them 
Uh, and basically, originally they were coded as op A B, uh, complete with B prefix numbers uh, when they became HSH. It undertook, my God, this is nonsense. I can't read this. I was trying to be right posh then and do a bit of uh, info on my video, but I'm not going to bother because it's like a minefield that. But anyway, look, I've got some of these. <laughs> I'm going to leave that on. I was reading it off a sheet and I thought I'll oh, give a bit of info like what some people do. And then I just got all tongue-tied because it was absolutely crackers. There's a million words anyway. It'd have been a five-hour video if I'd have read that. But anyway, basically, yeah, that's what I've got. But how many have I got? I'm not going to give that a go away. We'll turn it into a little bit of a game, shall we? Because what we're going to do is we're going to drive in and we're going to get a few coupled up. And then I'm going to, I was going to originally leave it as one long video of live back and forth. But it was getting a little bit long and boring. So I've edited it down for you for your benefit. So my mate 66, who may or may not be getting the chop shortly, is going to back in and he's going to collect the first little section here. And as you can see, first one is that dark coloured, maroony coloured one, which is my Ornby one. Because it's been on its own all this time, so I thought, why not include it in this little rake? So Ornby gets to knock about with a Cura scale, boys, and we'll see how it goes. And in the meantime, policeman still not sorted back crash out with that mini into that bush there so i don't know what he's messing about at but uh basically i've left it anti for about a week so there's no really no really what happened with it i don't really know what happened there see how it pulled out then stopped then started again i think what it is that remote uh z21 answer i've got it's super sensitive and sometimes i get giddy and i turn it all the way up well not all the way but i turn it too far realize it's gonna go crackers so I crank it back down and i've obviously cranked it too far down look at all these though it's like how many you got double o dave how many you got i'm not gonna tell you you're gonna have to watch and wait and see i don't know if a cure scale do loads for these actually like you know like i got them loads for my other ones does anyone know I know you can fill them up and all that business, but I did like them Acura scale ones. Like it's just like a little false floor that sits on and it looks really decent. Uh, I don't know if it'll have... I don't know if they're doing for these, though. I might have to come up with some kind of ingenious design myself. So here we go now, what we got up to now. That looks like a decent six to me, at least. And I'll tell you what I need for these. I need some of them... Uh, Oh my god, I can't think what they're called. Oil brushes. Oil brushes is what I need. Because I think that's what Colwich is used for is. Is that right, Mr. Colwich? I can't remember uh, if you said you used them. I think you did. Uh, so yeah, I ain't got none. Uh, and I don't really know where they sell them. Uh, unless I get mail order. So I might get some ordered. Uh, I, might, I may or may not. It's, uh, it's going to be like... It's one of them, innit? Weathering these are absolutely beautiful. But they're far too shiny and clean. And they need to look grotty, I think. I wonder if Ladderman could come to Colwich and then basically load up his rucksack with your oil brushes and then and then we can re return them after I've used them. I don't know if that's an option, actually. That might be a good idea that I've come up with. So these little hoppers, given choice, I'll be brutally honest, given choice, I would have probably gone for HAA without that... Uh, that thingy bob on top canopy thing but let's face it i already had one of these anyway which was just random freak that i bought one in a in a load of stuff off one at lads at work uh so yeah i would have gone originally for the non-canopy ones just because they're what i remember i don't remember ever seeing any like this i think they might have been only up at scotland but i might be talking nonsense but yeah, but beggars can't be choosers, can they? And uh, when someone offers you these and you can get some kind of mega trade deal, trading two-on-two -two style, what can you do? And that's a nice shot, look. And I do think they look really decent. And I tell you what, you know, it's getting to be quite a long train now, isn't it? Have you noticed? Have you been counting? What we'll have to do is uh, we'll get them all loaded up and then I'll get them onto the viaduct and then uh, my train counting following can uh, wagon counting even can do a bit of counting look at that it's a nice little shot that so what's my, what have i been doing then this last week because i haven't been filming and i haven't been doing any of this train stuff i tell you what i do as a person i am full on i'm all or nothing with stuff so when i started doing this model railway i absolutely 
smashed it to bits doing it doing it every spare bit of time I had and when when I announced it when it was like 15 month old and people were like wow that's really good for 15 months that's because I went fully crazy on it like I went fully crazy on YouTube videos doing 60 videos in six months so I can't really do balance <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got something wrong with my brain where it doesn't let me do things in balance so I can't just do one video a month I, I, my body wouldn't allow me to do that uh, and I can't just do like a little bit of building I have to crack on and get get it sorted so what I've been trying to do is I basically spent six months up in loft in winter and that just basically getting fatter and fatter I think so basically I'm trying to get my sense sorted for my holiday to Turkey and end at six week holiday. So I'm basically hammering treadmill every day now. So uh, that's that's what I'm that's what I've been doing this week. A bit of a health kick. Plus, I did need a bit of a break from uh, doing all videos because it really was taking loads and loads of time up. Which normally is not a problem, but with six week holidays coming up, it's just going to be a bit much. So. Uh, I thought I'd get in there with a little bit of a break. So this, uh, I've got an Acura scale 31 on pre-order, regional railways, and I'm in two minds whether to scrap that pre-order. I've uh, been thinking about that for a few weeks as well. I think what it was with that is I've got them regional railways, Batman coaches, them uh, Mark 1s with Mark 2, and... I just saw it and I got giddy. And realistically, there's a perfect match of the uh, factory weathered 37 that Batman do that you can pretty much pick up every few weeks on eBay for about 120 quid max. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if I just go with that. Well, that's what we're always going to go with. And then that came out and I got giddy. But do I need a £300 31? I'm not sure. Anyway, doing this audio is proving tricky today. Yeah. Uh, my young ones just come in and put Peppa Pig on on telly, so I've had to come into the kitchen. Washing machines on in kitchen, so I've come into the dining room. So it might sound a bit different now. Right, that's it, folks. We're all connected up, so uh, let's get going. Let's have a look at what we've got. I don't know if you picked up on that. When I pulled away nice and steady, one, it was like one wagon at a time got going. Uh, Wayne told me about that when he gave me them today. He says uh, they bunch up together when you reverse them up, and then if you pull slowly out one at a time, start off. And they do, it's good that Wayne, decent. Right, without further ado, wagon counters get ready. We're about to get onto the viaduct, aren't we? So here we go. My young uns singing Pepper Pig in background, I can't help that. Here we go. Even got original cameraman out for a uh, quick shot. Right, if you're a wagon counter, get your sends ready. Get your pen and paper at the ready. How many did I get? Let's have a look. You see, I've been all negative about that uh, 66, and I've just seen it there, and it just looks decent again, doesn't it? So, I don't know. just don't know if it fits my layout and my uh, business, but, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice, don't get me wrong. You won't be disappointed if I sold it anyway, especially... Uh, if I sold it, yeah, it's almost famous, isn't it? Like in between us, level famous. Anyway, I won't put you off while you're counting, folks. <laughs> oh, look at that! I've done you. I've done you like old days. Sorry, I, sorry about that. Listen, uh, you can get it here now. Actually, uh, bit of a close-up make it a bit easier for you. You can see original fruit Batman's got down. Still, he's just still having a chat at the gate. Uh, don't know what they're talking about, but uh, they're loving these coal trains. It's just up their street, so they've stayed here just to have a decent look at them. And they're well happy, and I've, oh, I've done it again. I've done you again on a double. I won't do it this time, promise you. You can count them this time. Le decent little fast pass, though, at track level. The very next thing I'm doing, I'm going to get them uh, EWS wagons, and I'm going to get some more of them weathered. And then uh, I might even record that as I'm doing that and just uh, put the odd bits out, you know, so I don't just vanish off the face of earth. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I can think to do at the minute. And then, oh, look at that, he's fainted. You see that? Cameraman Bob fainted. I think his blood sugar might have been low or something. But, uh, yeah, I think he'll be all right. I think he just needs a Mars bar. 
Nice little shot of at Viaduct. Look, them two are there. They've been there a few episodes now, aren't they? Both of them sat together. Yeah. If I'm honest, I think brown coat has got his eye on yellow coat, you know, and uh, I don't know if the feeling's mutual or what. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a situation developing there. I hope there's not going to be some tiffs. Surveyors are in luck waiting to get that little shot. He's just got his, his batteries running low, though, so he needs to do it before train. Oh, he's done it. It's done him. It's done him before train coming where uh, he had his final bit of battery power left to do his measurements. Yeah, I thought that'd happen, mate. Sorry about that, pal. This next shot were a bit puzzling because I sent it to right, as you'll see in a second, of a double slip, and uh, it kept shorting out, and I couldn't figure out why, but you know what it was? His point was set wrong, but they were going over it, and they managed to go over at point, derail, and then re-rail within about five centimetres, every single wagon. Well, I say every single wagon. I'm lying again. It were about 12 of them before I realised that I sorted it. So we've got a little bit of a snaky approach coming up. I've got OH Hunter doing something for once. Uh, little ornament OH Hunter. But they look well them, don't they? Snaking around like a slippery snake. Definitely need some loads in some of them. At least some of them, if not all of them. But majority of them, I would say, I guess. And then they'll be delicious. So I'm running, as you've seen. I've got 18 Acura scale and one Ormby. So... Not a bad little rate, that, is it? Basically, using the uh, WPG guide, them wagons uh, basically cost me £30, so that's quite good, isn't it? If any of you remember that guide and how it works. So we're about getting up to end, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop train, and then I'll just show you a bit of a pan shot using drone as to... Uh, how long a length it is, because it's, uh, it's quite a little decent train, that now. I don't know whether to run it round top loop or uh, or what, because I do like it, and it seems a shame to just waste it on top loop. Just before I forget, I just want to do a shout out to uh, Lois at Annie's Cafe uh, for some magnificent buns that uh, that were sent the other week. They were absolutely next level good, and I appreciated that lemony uh, lemony one because I know it weren't a lemon drizzle cake, but. It was still decent, it was pretty on par on it, in fairness, it had a bit of lemon curd inside. Oh yes, it was decent, thanks very much. So I've just got drone doing a bit of an overpass now, so from derelict uh, signal box, it goes all the way around here, right up to the depot. I hope it's not too, not been too oppo wagony for you this video, it's been very oppo wagony, hasn't it? But sometimes you've got to show stuff off when you get stuff, and uh, they are nice, I've always fancied some, but they're just silly money, aren't they? So, Luckily, I, uh, I did that trade in 212. I don't know where I've got that from. I think it's one of them nonsense adverts. Anyway, drone man, you what getting a bit close to that post, mate. Oh, you've collided with it. Look at that. That's not happened in a while, has it? Listen, folks, anyone who's still here, this is a bit of bonus footage for people that like to stay till end and uh, them get them little secret Easter eggs, don't they? It's another feature I found with this, uh, you know, this limited edition one that I got. I'll show it you. It's decent. Basically, I dropped my control the other day and uh, I found it by mistake when I, I pressed button as I picked it up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's unusual. I'll show it you. Function 40 is available. Which function do you require? A. Wagon spawn. B. Talk like a dirty potty mouth. <laughs> Bloody hell. A. A. You have selected. B. Oh, your hands are so dirty. Rub my grease nipples. Oh my god. A. A, I said. A. Selected. Spawning a nice rake of hopper wagons. Now then, big boy, why don't you hop inside me and thrust my levers? Yeah, I can fully, I can fully now appreciate why this one didn't uh, make it to market. Uh, it's not really appropriate, is it? Uh I think I might have to return this to Richard. It's uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit much for my channel. If you think you are leaving me up here all summer whilst you play Happy Families, you can effing do one. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's unacceptable, that Richard. I can't I can't be having this. My young one is that, or my missus. She's gonna think it's possessed and it'll be frightening. Anyway, folks, we're about at the end, so uh, thanks for watching.
See you soon. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want some more of this nonsense. If not, don't. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.